Welcome back, GB Nation. This is your host, GB Grace, aka GB Rex. And today I'm really excited to do this reaction to one of my favorite voiceover actors of all time, Phil Lamar. When I found out that he voiced over Samurai Jack, freaking other, so many other characters over time that I that I grew up on in my childhood, it gives you inspiration. It gives me inspiration to you know pursue um, my uh, my storylines and doing voice acting for my characters. So without further ado, I'm going to show you and reveal to you. Something I hold dear to me, which are my cartoons that I made. Um, I have them right here. I will show them to you after this video is over with. So y'all stay tuned or y'all can skip forward to the end of the video. But and but if you really like, like you really trying to watch my reaction to, you know what I'm saying, the GOAT, Phil Lamar. Let's get into today's reaction. Get it with my boy Phil Lamar. I have jagged the teeth and I eat angel birds. They are your sons. Hi, I'm Phil Lamar. I'm I've played so freaking... a lot of Here's different characters. Here's the look on his face. He was like, I jagged the teeth and I eat angel songs. Like, yo, you only just do yours. It's like this. This man is a character, bro. This man is a character for real. I mess with Played him. Hermes on Future. Go. <laughs> Just off of that, go. He a goat for that. Because if you didn't watch Futurama, you just didn't, you know what I'm saying. Come on now. Futurama was like, goat. It's like top tier adult cartoon shows next to Family Guy, American Dad, Simpsons. Like, come on. You can't just, just not give the nod to Futurama. This man voice acted the only black guy on the show. <laughs> That's what makes him the goat. Like, you will just. Ah. Drama, the samurai known as Jack. Go. Like, if you don't know Samurai Jack, you may have a childhood, son. Like, come on, let's get it. On Samurai Jack, the Green Lantern in Justice League. Now, this I did not know until recently. I was like, bro, this man voiced over Green Lantern from Justice League. But now that I see it, and now, and, and now that I'm digesting it, it all makes sense. Like, he just embodies him. Like, little... He got the same haircut as old boy. Like he looked like the young version of my of the of the, the goat Phil Lamar. Like if Phil Lamar was Green Lantern, this was literally be him. So I can see it. Bulby on Jack. Now this really threw me off. I did not expect this man. I thought he did only Cartoon Network voiceovers. This man said, "Nah, I do it all. I do Nickelodeon, Disney. What you got? I got it. I got you, fam." But this man did Bulby from Jimmy Neutron. If you don't know Bulby from Jimmy Neutron. Get off my channel, fam. You ain't, you ain't, you don't know nothing. You don't, your childhood was horrible, son. Like, you didn't, you don't know the goat? The goat? Bulby? Son, come on now. From Jimmy Neutron? Come on now. Hello? Hi. Oh, you really going ham with that makeup. Out here looking like Harley Quinn. You can't be doing that. Your sister dirty like that. Uh, she plays I'm dead. Anyway, let me. I'm still reacting to this video, so I'm gonna prop you back over here, Miss Lady. I might eat some lunch in a little bit. Lunch. Yeah. Huh? What? Yeah, I I only ate breakfast. I've been fasting, trying to get all these videos out the way. I got some crackers. I can snack on that for right now. All right, back to this reaction. Jimmy Neutron. Ollie Williams. It's going to rain. On I'm so dead. He did Ollie Williams on Family Guy. Bro. Is it? <laughs> He the goat. He the goat, man. 
He did all the famous black characters, bro. <laughs> What? They, what are they going to tell me next? He did Proud Family too. This man is the GOAT. Oh my goodness. Family Guy. I'm about to play some new characters based on some images I have never seen before. So hopefully it'll be voices you've never heard before. Balls man, down. alone in bed, awake at 3.20. Oh, this is the third act of that Pixar movie. I am wrought with guilt. Everything is not going to be right. I, I, I can't sleep. I can't even close my eyes. Or maybe he's a little calmer. Maybe he's just more of this guy. Well, there we go. I'm just going to be up because I just got home from the club. And uh, until I come down off of all of these drugs... <laughs> I'm just going to lie here in my pajamas. Honey, turn out the light in the bathroom, would you? All right, now we've got a young, what, probably a teenager in his karate gear. There's two ways we can go with this one. Oh, he stop. can be a real black belt. Yeah. Hey I have studied the martial arts since I was four, and I can break all the boards. Or he might be the dude who... Just likes watching karate movies. But he's not actually... Oh, no, I ain't never actually done karate or spelt it. But I love it, man. <laughs> Don't you look at me wrong. He the goat, man. He the goat, bro. He can do anything, bro. He can voice act anything, bro. Bro, he could probably voice over for a trash can and it still be goaded. Like, come on, man. I'm gonna karate chop your butt. Now we've got our stereotypical cartoon smart kid. I'm guessing he's not our hero. Um, he's somebody who's in our hero's class and always gets the A's when our hero doesn't. Uh, he doesn't understand uh, what you need to be socially cool, so he speaks in equations. Sigma of you know, or he might be, he might be a little bit cooler. Cause you know. That's it, that's it. See, look, he do two alternate versions. He give you like one that he might think or something that might appeal to the audience. And the one that appeals to the audience always be the best one. Son, come on, man, he the go, bro. Nerds are running all the studios now. <laughs> sure, I can do that, Mrs. Watkins. Can I have the chalk, please? Uh, R squared pi. Can I go to the bathroom, please? And now we have a big, goofy, hairy monster. This, of course, makes us think of Cookie Monster. But that's copyrighted. So we got to go a different direction. We got the. <laughs> he said, what? That's copyrighted. See, he's a goat, man. He know. You know what time it is, bro. I'm like, come on, man. One big eye, so maybe he's uh, a little off, but he's got a big smile. <laughs> Hi, is everybody ready for dinner? <laughs> he could be something that we encounter in the woods. Maybe he's a little scary, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'm just going to chew you a little. This is a... Oh, hell no. But he goat. He's still goat, though. He's still goat for that. How many views this chat do, yo? Oh, so underrated. So underrated. Deserves way more views. Only 300k? I would have thought it's got a million by now. See, come on, man. The ghosts always go under, man. Come on, man. Ghosts always go under notice, man. The OG ghost, like, he's OG, bro. Like, you can't just, come on. An owl, but he looks very sort of old world. So you have to have sort of a black and white voice here. Something in the continental realm. And plus the fact of all of that detail and cross-hatching. Oh, this is someone that you take very seriously. This is a man of breeding and wisdom from the old world. I've got a top hat behind my back, so you know that I have status. And I <coughs> will not deal with foolishness. Or he might be 
might be a little softer. He could be, even though he looks very serious, he could also be a comic character. Hey, I am your silly uncle. <laughs> uh, well, oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally signed over the deed to the castle. That sounds legit. I don't know. I think it's always the second one that get me. The second one feels like it's more the audience appeal. But the first one, like I said, something that he would think of. But man, go, man, go, he to go. Man. We're homeless. Now you've got a guy with a grill who's very happy to be grilling. So, I mean, he's not George Foreman, but he might be. I can't afford a George Foreman grill, so I got a Forge Jorman grill. Hey, oh, I'm so freaking dead. Why you go? Why you got to go to that stereotypical knockoff? Like this man said, I can't afford a George Foreman grill, so I got a Foreman gr George grill. <laughs> Oh man, that's like when you go to Aldi's, you know, the knockoff um, grocery stores, and instead of getting Pop Tarts, you get Tart Pops. Like, come on, man. Done. I'm Forge German, and this here is my little tiny grill. You can only fit one burger on it, but it's one good burger. He's your uncle <laughs> who's running a cookout that's also the family reunion. Hey, boy, where you been? I ain't seen you in so long. Hey, get on out here and, and bring me that ketchup. I'm gonna make my special sauce. Go, go, go. Man, this man should just like, bro, if he had, if, if, look, if he ever get reincarnated, you know what he gonna be, right? <laughs> and tell your mama to bring me out some, my special drink. The paper one. Now we have. A great big white Sasquatch gorilla type guy, but he's also in a good mood. So basically, you got a, a big primate here, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Welcome to the forest. You're looking for the bathroom? It's this tree right here. Or, I love this. This design might work. Might work nicely for a villain. Well. If you come into my forest at night, it's not just good night, moon. It's good night, you. Well, now you've got a delivery guy. I got a little experience playing these guys. So, uh, hey, maybe he's somebody who's just, you know, happy to be here, right? <laughs> I got all these packages. Although, I don't know. This guy's got a that big man chin. I think he's got a little more ego than that. What? You mean some people make more than one trip? <laughs> Amateurs. Because it looks like Patrick. <laughs> if I ever wore a baseball cap, which I never do. Okay. He said, yeah. <laughs> which I never do. Yo, he the goat, man. This man can imitate other. Yo, he the goat, man. Ain't no. Oh, we've got some late night adult swim type stuff happening here. Hey, when I created this cartoon, I was like a little high. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's cool. But I have created a person. I have antlers and I have jagged teeth and I eat angel birds. Or we could just go, yo, man. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, hold on, man. He just, <laughs> he just went from this, like, straight up double worshiper to, to a chill, shaggy type. Like, come on, man. You can't take cool. So we got cocky guy on a skateboard <laughs> who's either got a very crazy path behind him or, yo, man, that's my tag, dude. Right, what's up? You see what it says, right? You know, I'm an influencer and a skateboardist. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he sound like uh, Keenan and Kale. Um, I think it was, I think it was Keenan that like, shoot. The one that likes orange soda, he sounds just like him, bro. So get with it. He sound like, Welcome to Good Burger. I don't mind Good Burgers, man. Take your order. Dead. Cha. Or 
Yo, man, maybe he's like the cool cat, right? <laughs> what you waiting for? Let's hit it. Yeah. Let's go. Ali, Ali, oxen free. <laughs> I like the last one. What I'm seeing here is sort of a period guy. And he's got a folder that says secret, so he's... Looks like a detective, but he's obviously a secret agent. Probably one of these hard-boiled types. I've got the... Like Inspector Gadget. The secret files that I need right here. Don't you worry, Jerry's not gonna get these. We're gonna fight the Axis powers. You better believe it. Like Detective Batman, Bruce Wayne. Like Detective Bruce Wayne. See, I'm, he's in the 40s. He's got a 40s hat. He's gotta be in the 40s. He's fighting the war. Or, if this guy wasn't our hero, if he was the bad guy... Yeah, he's still in that period, sure. But I got what I need, and you're not getting it back till I get some simoleus. Then he's just, he just gets a little more edge to him. He got the secret formula for the Krabby Patties. That's what he got. Plankton been looking for that. He coming for you. Oh, he coming for you. Gets a little more edge, right? Don't make me fill you full of lead. Something like that. Now, this is something I can relate to. Tribal wolf wearing a cow skull. I am a predator. Don't let him kick into maximum. Don't don't let Plankton kick into. Don't let him do it. Don't let Plankton kick into maximum overdrive. Like that. Now this is something I can relate to. Tribal wolf wearing a cow skull. I am a predator and i live a predator life all in my tribe we eat meat oh who put these plants in my meat food you know a lot of people man out of all those uh new ones bro i gotta take my hats off man i would say my favorite one is that that chef one man that chef one was hilarious uh the nerd one was really freaking good too. I really liked the karate one. And then that first one was nice too. He did a good job on all of them, but that seemed more, this one seemed more Adventure Time-ish. Like this one right here, that character seemed more Adventure Time-ish. Um, that's, that character seemed more 95. But more so, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the video. Hold on. People come up to me and say, I want to get into voice acting. How do you get into voice acting? I'm like, uh, I don't know. Get on a sketch comedy show on Fox and then do cartoons. Probably not the best path. I came from a world that was very different when voice acting wasn't a thing. I didn't choose to be a voice actor. I was an actor who got a job on a cartoon. Yes. But with acting or with anything, the key is find a way to do it. If you have friends who are artists or animators, they're gonna need voices. Go in there, help them out. The thing is, you gotta get in your mic time. You gotta get in your practice. Figuring out ways to solve the problem of a performance. Every role you're given is a problem to be solved. There's a character on a page. How do I make that real for an audience who's going to watch or listen to it? That's your job. And you gotta practice it to get it right. I'm Phil Lamar, and this has been my personal take on some really new cartoon voices. Now it's time for the moment you all been waiting for. Are you ready? This is it. This is the Silly Billy Show. All right, so here we go. We got what we came here for. The, you stay tuned for the end of the video like I suggested. Okay. So, we have the one and only Silly Billy himself. Y'all can see that. It's a pencil scout show. You can not, not see that one as clear, so I'm gonna show you a more clear, a better one. Those are just the rough sketches of how the characters uh, were designed. Uh, it's my boy, Roger. Now these are original cartoons, original cartoon character. This is Roger. So, now we're about to get into the voice acting. Different um, 
different scenarios with him in it, featuring him in it. So this is one scenario featuring him with Roger. This is Roger once again. I can see him better. I do this with uh, some type of color marker. I don't know what type of marker it was, but it, it came out clean as you can see. This one seems fairly, um, I already know my voice over this one, but this this one, this character, um, I have him, he's more laid back, chill. Um, he's a more of an anxious character. He likes to jump into things, um, you know, but later on towards this, the show, he starts to become more uh, chill and laid back. If, excuse me. He starts to become more chill and laid back. But in this scenario, he, this is his chill and laid back. And then we have the other scenario where he's more hyper. So he's kind of like, you know, different moves for different times. Different scenarios. So this is him. He just got in a freak accident at the circus. The show is all um, based around this circus event. So it's two buddies. We got two characters. I'm going to show you these two characters. Um, Y'all be the first to see it because, you know, I'm really excited to sh show these characters and how they interact with each other. These are the two main characters. Uh, the main protagonist is Roger, which is the brown young man. And then the Caucasian or, or white young boy, that's, his name is Billy. And I call it Silla Billy Show because he, his family um, adopts Roger. Roger is an orphan. He gets adopted into the family they, at the circus show. Um, Billy is one of the acts um, in the show. Um, as you know, as the show goes on, they uh, set up a donation um, charity, a charity for for uh, orphan kids and um, pets, and and allows them to rediscover and meet new people as they travel around the world together. And it's just a nice buddy show that just. It, it's gonna bring a good vibe, a good nostalgic vibe back for people that um, enjoyed uh, SpongeBob and enjoyed other different shows like Fox Homes for Imaginary Friends, uh, Ed and Nettie, different types of buddy shows that that you know that we all came to love and adore over time. So yep, that's that is it for this piece right here. Again, this is Roger and this is Billy. So now that I explained that. Gave a little summary of the what's going on in the show. It's a, a show. It's a buddy show. Um, it's adventurous. The category is adventurous, cartoon, comedy, a little action here and there, but more so on the lines of comedy adventures because they travel a lot because it's a circus show. Uh, that's Billy's uh, parents' home. So let's get into a uh, voiceover. That's what y'all been waiting for, right? So I got. I'm going to start with Roger. Hi, I'm Roger. They call me Roger, Roger. I don't know my last name because I'm an orphan kid, but I do know that one day I'll find a family that loves and cares for me. I am Roger. I am 12 years old. I like to have fun. I like circus events. And most, most of all, I like cotton candy. Here's another one. Where he's like a freaking, uh, another one where he's like a freaking, uh, this is like the Halloween special where he's like a zombie on some Walking Dead type of vibe. So this is pretty fire. This is a drawing I did a while back, but it go hard. The detail in it just goes hard. It's insane. So there's a little piece on that. So, oh, uh, let me do the voiceover for it. Billy, 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 Billy. 
Now, I make funny faces. That's why I hide behind the paper because I look like I look it looks silly doing voiceovers. You know what I'm saying? But the, it brings the character to life. So, Billy, Billy. Come on, give your boy some credit. But he work on that. All right, so this is like more so like upset Roger. No one loves me. No one cares for me. Well, you can all go to hell. So that's more of a. Uh, a, like a adult vibe, adult swim type vibe, Roger. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the characters curse, so it might just keep it PG on some, on some family friendly, you know what I'm saying? I might keep it, uh, I'm not sure if I wanted to be adult swimish. I wanted to be like, ooh, I wanted to be on some Gravity Falls type, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like Gravity Falls, yeah. I was digging that show, that's what was lit. Um, let me do a Billy one. I did a whole bunch of Roger ones. Y'all have seen a whole bunch of Roger ones. Uh, and this is Roger's main character design, as you can see. Um, make sure y'all see both sets. Roger's main character design is blue and yellow. Touch of green. His favorite colors are, uh, his favorite color is blue. That's why he wears a lot of blue. So I got the green cargo shorts almost. Um, the blue and white t-shirt that he always wears, blue white tee, and the yellow star on it, yellow star on it. Cause I didn't, I, I wanted to have it, you know, I don't know. I wanted to, to symbolize something. I wanted his shirt to have like, you know, when you see him or you see the character, you know that that's this, I wanted to give an iconic appeal. Like, oh man, that's Roger, you know what I'm saying? So. I, ain't, I wanted it to, to have some type of symbolism that that identifies with your mind, your psychic. So when you get, when you start watching the show, um, you'll know that this, by this character design, it's even just seeing the back of his head or just like his outline, you'll know, hey, that's Roger. I know that show. That's Silly Billy show. You know, stuff like that. And he wears blue Converse because I used to love, I as a child, I, I grew up wearing, wearing a lot of Converse shoes and stuff, like different shoes. I, I wore Jordans, Nikes, all that. But I preferred Converse out of all of them because I could wear it in any anywhere and do it, anything in my Converse shoes rather than have to worry about my Jordans getting messed up or my Nikes getting messed up because they were so expensive. Converse were just like the go-to shoes and they're still classics. I still wear Converse to this day. So that's it for today's video. This is a special reaction uh, slash reveal uh, for my new cartoon show, Silly Billy Show, coming out soon. I'm going to go back to the main channel and start producing some content as well and bringing this out on this, as far as behind the scenes for that on this, on the cartoon I'm making right now on GMB Create. So link will be in the description and also in the comment section. Click on the link to subscribe to my main channel and that's where all the contents in relation to my new cartoons, story times, and new cartoon shows will be on. So subscribe, 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 Real to 1K on both channels, and subscribe to this channel for more reactions from your truly, the one and only GMB Creates, AKA GMB Reacts. GMB, I will